Hello? Oh, oh, sir, sir, I have a job for you. Uh, one job's going straight to hell. And did I just tell y'all I didn't want a job going to hell? We just, we just hung up. I just told y'all I want to go there. Oh, oh, well, sir, uh, this job pays, uh, $2,000. $2,000? Man, it costs 1900 and fuel just to go to hell. Shout out to Kenneth Lewis. Make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to him on YouTube. This is his controversial company, Super Eagle Story, to talk about his experience with controversial company, Super Eagle eagle and a little bit of time he was there he basically said look if you have a good dispatcher you will be winning you will be winning with controversial company super eagle but but if you happen to get a bad dispatcher or a dispatcher that you can't work with or anything like that it's it's just gonna go all downhill from there no more wasting time let's get it now hold on what's up youtube i'm going to share my super ego experience with y'all for those who you know trying to get into the trucking industry or curious about super ego all right so my piece of advice is make sure you have at least two other jobs locked in before you go sign on with super ego once you get started give your dispatch at least two weeks to find fair or good paying jobs. After that, you're gonna get another dispatcher like right away. If Super Ego don't get you another dispatcher in seven days, man, you gotta get the hell up out of there. You know, it's a lot of drivers that do good and I ain't knocking for the ones that do good, but the ones that do good, they simply got good dispatchers. That's all it is to it. So if you're gonna start with Super Ego, you know, do the lease own deal, my opinion, it's best that you have little to no living expenses at home. One of the best options they got at Super Ego is a, you know, the opportunity to to run hard and pay the truck off in a couple of years. You know, I think if you run hard enough, you can pay your truck off and make five hundred to a thousand dollars a week. You know, with a with a bad dispatcher. And you know, that's never going home, never stopping too. Saying that's after all your operating expenses, in my opinion. The problem is a greedy, broken, a greedy dispatcher. You know, if they ain't greedy, you can make good money. In my opinion, there's a lot of them that's taking a couple hundred dollars each out of the job. I say maybe the broker taking 200, dispatcher taking two, 300 off top. So when they offer you the pennies that they offer you, you don't know what that job actually pay. They trying to play like we stupid, you know, and uh, basically saying, take it and leave it. You got to stand tall, deny them low buy offers, even if you got to take a whole day off, like, fuck it, I ain't going to, I'm going to sit right here, find me a good paying job. Yeah, I see 100,000 super ego trucks on the road, but I can't even find 100 success stories from people, my people, our people, you know, people, you know, that's outside of the super ego nationality brand. Show me a hundred people on there saying they're doing good, successful. I just don't see it. You know, you may see a few videos, witness stories of people doing good, but you know, check out their confidence, check out their swag and their demeanor when they speak. To me, they don't seem that happy. Oh, they may say, oh, I make this, I make that. You know, but some of the people, they don't seem too confident. I don't, they don't seem like they're doing too good. You know, it's almost like they don't want to admit that they struggling or they doing just much. To check out their body language and their energy when you look at the videos and they, they stories when they get interviewed about how good they doing. I noticed the drivers, super ego area, the, the countries that's related to the super ego people. If you notice them out in their jobs, they trucks be clean. The trucks be clean, they be happy, they be bouncing out the truck, smiling, fresh to death, G'd up from head to toe, confidence through the roof. You know, you can tell by their body language that they being taken care of. That's their people. So you know that this spot is looking out for them, giving them a good job. That's their people. It is what it is. I can't knock it, but it's sad to say, our people don't do that. That I know of, with the money there, prove it. We're gonna, we're gonna get hard, we're gonna get down, we're gonna run hard for you. We just, we just need to know. You know, so basically they're getting good paying jobs from their people and everybody else struggling, you know what I mean? Because they, they offer them pennies. Low ball offers, just enough to make the truck and trailer payments, you know, which is ego's bottom line. I mean, I ain't mad at them. You know, you get people in there, 
you know, get people to pay off the truck and trailer for you. You own the assets, it's your assets. You're using them for that. So I can't knock them for it. You know, but once again, people that do good, they got good dispatches. And I ain't speaking for everybody because some drivers, some brothers do good with them. They just got good dispatches, bottom line. And you know, from what I observe, most of our people, they ain't doing too good. It just ain't enough dispatch. Good dispatch is super ego. You know, or majority of the drivers will be happy, man. It's, it's, it's plain as day, bottom line. Um, you're going to hear stories on YouTube. Uh, you hear people saying, okay, you got to manage your money and be a professional. Okay, yeah, that's what that's in life, period. I don't give a damn if you're at McDonald's or Wendy's or not. You know, that's what it is. No shit, you know. But, man, but miss me with the bullshit. How you going to manage successfully when you've been set up for failure? What the hell are you going to manage? You, 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 they got to give you something to manage. You can't manage what you, they ain't giving you. And for everybody, we ain't getting it. Worst thing, worst, put, put somebody in your truck, let them run for you, and get you another job, let them run, give them some majority of the profit or all the profit, and just let them run and pay off the truck for you so you own the truck. You know, which one a bad idea, bad thought. Me, myself, shit, I like to get down the road. I like to drive, so... You know, I, I gave it a shot. I tried for myself, but numbers ain't adding up. The numbers, they just ain't adding up. And uh, this ain't my first rodeo. The numbers ain't adding up for Super Ego. Put somebody in your truck, let them run, and pay the truck off for you. I'm like, okay, that sounds good. But then again, that sounds real familiar. Shit, that's, that's what the hell Super Ego doing. Man, they warehousing us by the hundreds of thousands. They getting them new trucks in because of their good credit. They throwing us in them trucks to run and pay the truck off. Yeah, it may not pay your truck off. Like, you may quit and move on to something different. And you, your, that truck ain't paid off, but somebody may have damn they use you to pay off their debt or whatever. It is what it is. So my dispatcher experience is like, I talk to my dispatcher like, okay, right, man, I need to take a shower. You know, I'm going to shut it down for the night. You know, we, we'll start over in the morning. You know, you can get me a load going, you know, Wherever, just one area I want to go to is hell. I ain't trying to go to hell. Don't send me to hell. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So I have a job for you. One job is going straight to hell. And did I just tell you I didn't want a job going to hell? We just, we just hung up. I just told you I want to go there. Oh, well, sir, this job pays uh $2,000. $2,000? Man, it costs 1900 and fuel just to go to hell. Like, what did you... I, we just talked about it. We've been talking about this for two weeks straight. So, you know, they keep hitting you with the same bullshit, you know. You tell them over and over again, they understand English, you understand what they saying. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Like, man, they trying to play you like you, like, either take it or lose it, or I'm just going to keep going to war with you till you tap out and give up or whatever. So, I had to cuss my dispatch out. I had to cuss the broker out. And I ain't like, man, you know, I don't like doing stuff like that. So finally, after I put my foot down and cuss them out, they gave me a good paying job going somewhere. Okay, you know, the rate per mile was good. I think it was like 360. Get down there, first thing you do, try to offer me a low ball, low ball rate. I want to say probably like a dollar fifty something a mile. I said, man, you got to be kidding me. You, you must, you, this must be a game to you. So, you know, I think that, you know, in life, you experience what you experience, you're going to learn from it. But I, I'm, I ain't going to lie to you, I'm, I'm seasoned. I've been blessed in the past to work for different places, to pay good money. But, you know, it's, it's a lot of sacrifices in what you do and what I've done. It's been plenty of times what I've done well, but I just wanted to try something different because it worked for me at that time. And super ego, you know, I felt like they had to hop in the truck. No money down, hey, I'm with that because I know I can run. And if you pay me with what, what you're supposed to be paying me, then we both gonna eat. But if you ain't paying me what you're supposed to be paying me, I can't eat. You gonna eat, but I can't eat. I ain't eat. You ain't eat. What you mean you ain't? You ain't making this paper, man. Everybody eats, B. So I tried it. It didn't work out for me. I know a couple good brothers is working out good for them because they got good dispatches. Point blank. Period. But, uh, you know, as far as Super Ego, this this my experience personally. I ain't knocking nobody. Super Ego got their brand, warehousing people, getting their no money down, pay the truck off, pay off their assets and their they bills or whatever for the money they make off of you and give you just enough to make it to the next week because you, you got a bad dispatcher. Don't leave their equipment behind, man. Kill them with kindness. Bring them their equipment back, man. 
got them CDLs in your pocket, you got money in your pocket, man. So there you have it, drivers, right there. He said, this is what you're going to need when you come over to controversial company, Super Eagle. One of which is already have something else lined up or locked in before you come over this controversial company, Super Eagle. He also says that if the dispatcher doesn't work out in a couple of days, and if you don't get a better one within seven, you got to go. You got to bounce up out of there, man. It's all about the dispatchers and who you can actually work with with controversial company Super Eagle. You know, it's funny that, you know, for as many people that has a problem with controversial company Super Eagle, I tend to agree with them that I haven't seen that many drivers that are happy with controversial company Super Eagle. Uh, a few. Don't get me wrong, There's there's been a few, there's been a handful, maybe just about enough to count on one hand. But of course, you guys know about Controversial Company Super Eagle. You guys know about the Facebook groups. You guys know about the many, many, many videos and the many, many, many reviews about Controversial Company Super Eagle. That's why I always tell you, you got to do your research, do your research, your research, your research before you decide and say, hey, I'm going to give Controversial Company Super Eagle a chance. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I see a lot of their trucks on the road. Talk to a Super Eagle driver. See how they how they talk see how they react to the questions that you ask them so, and check out their demeanor their vibe to, and, and see if you can tell whether they really and truly like driving for controversial company super eagle rare housing drivers like what they're doing is washing and rinsing drivers out they're going to put a driver in there that's going to come in there with all those hopes and dreams. And as soon as they get them in that truck, after they sell them their hopes and dreams, then when that driver starts to drive and starts to get acclimated with the, with the company, then they're going to see their hopes and dreams turn into nightmares. Just saying. Now, you can do what you want to do. You can give controversial company super eagle the benefit of the doubt you can listen to what they have to offer 88 percent of the load a brand new truck lease to purchase walk away loads upon loads sounds good to you right driver shout out to my man kenneth lewis definitely go over there and check out his channel on youtube let them know lockout man sent you and guys if you have some super eagle stories that you like to share with us on the recruiter call channel by all means reach out to us lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com uh and too deep like omar Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.